What's up guys? My name is Derek and I'm going to go over what you're going to get. You're going to get a box with a tire and you're going to get a kit with all the parts and we're going to go through and detail out each part inside your kit. All right, uh, we will be giving you guys a sheet with a list of all the parts that you will be given. Uh, and we're going to go from top down and we'll go over each part as we go through this list. You're going to want to go over with your kit, make sure you have all of your parts. If you don't, you'll have to come see us and we can give you a new part. The first thing on your list is the 13 inch heavy duty pneumatic tire with hub. That's gonna be inside of this box. So inside this box, you'll have a heavy duty tire, which you'll see in the pneumatic system. Next is the Arduino Uno board with USB cable. So here's your Arduino Uno board. Uh, inside there, there'll be a USB cable to connect to your computer. Next is 22 gauge wire, one foot, six colors. That's gonna be this. This is all you'll need for your entire robot, so use this sparingly. If you need more, we do have more. Uh, 12 volt DC output battery pack. Inside this box, you're gonna find your battery. So inside of here, you have your battery and your cables. So make sure not to lose that. Next is your starless breadboard. That's this guy. Um, quick tip on this. This has a sticky back. Once you put it on there, it stays there. If you try to remove this, it will rip apart. So make sure that you use this sticky back to a piece of wood that you plan to use. That's your final home for this breadboard. So in up until then, just kind of leave it on there. Don't use the sticky back on that. Next is the reed switch. You're gonna find the reed switch in this little baggie. And it's the little red guy inside this baggie there. So the little red guy there, that's your reed switch. That's gonna act as your switch. And the way that turns on and off on the switch is with a magnet. So as a magnet comes closer to that reed switch, it will turn it on and off. And you're gonna use that to get timing of the wheels because you'll put the magnets on the wheels and that will tell you how many times the tire rotates. Next on our list is the MOSFET. That's the little black little three pin guy here. That's your MOSFET. That's what you're gonna use in your electronics board. Next is the pneumatic three-way two position air directional control solenoid. That's this guy. So inside this box, you'll have your servo solenoid and it'll look like that. And in the pneumatic system, we actually explain how to set that up. So that's in this box. Next is your magnets. So you'll get four of these magnets. Inside this little bag, you'll have four magnets. Try to keep these magnets separate from any of your electronic components as much as possible because it can damage it. Next is your compass. That's gonna be in here. And we do go over how to solder the headers to your compass in a separate video. Next is the heat sink for your MOSFET. Here's your heat sink for your MOSFET. This will actually attach to the MOSFET because the MOSFET will get hot as you start to run it. And the way you attach that is simply putting this onto here and it clips in and then that will be attached to your MOSFET and then this can plug into your breadboard. Once that's on there, it's kind of hard to get off. So just remember that. Next is the 10K resistors. Uh, you'll have one 10K resistor and that will be in this little bag as well. Next is the 12 volt to six volt converter, which you'll find right here in this bag. So you'll wire this up to your board and it will take your 12 volt battery and convert it into six volts, which is what your, uh, some of your parts will need. Digital servo, specifically the servo. The servo is powered by from, from the six volts. So you'll, power, you'll wire this guy to this guy um, in your setup. So here's your servo and you'll use that for your steering. Next is the rollerblade inline hockey wheels. Uh, you'll get four of these. Um, now you can take these little plastic uh, in, inserts out if you want to get a bigger diameter for your whatever shaft you wanna use or whatever you're designing. Um, but these do have the smaller, so when you do clamp on here and uh, mount to it, it will still spin. You'll have four of these um, to do steering or whatever else you need. You can do, you can use three of them. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's your call on your design. Next is the spring. Each of you will get a spring and that will help with your piston. Next is the flame retardant tubing. So this is your tubing. You have more than enough in here to use for your robot. Just make sure not to cut it up too much or you'll have issues and need more, but try to use this sparingly as much as possible. Cut it once, you know. Next is the double acting piston that you'll find in here. 
Um, we'll go over that in our pneumatic system, but this is your piston. Next is the brass air fill valve. So this is your brass air fill valve. This is what you'll use to fill up your tire and connect it to the T. We go over that in more detail in the pneumatic video. Push to connect two fitting. You'll get two of those. These are your push to connect two fittings. You'll get two of these and same thing. In the pneumatic video, we go over how these operate. Next is the push to connect. Uh, oh, those were the push to connect two fittings inline T. That's these guys. So. These are our two inline T's, which we'll go over in the pneumatic system. Pump thumb lock, that's this guy. Next is the 50 PSI pressure release valve, which is in this guy right here. So in this big bag right here, that's your pressure release valve. Next is the male straight connector exhaust valve. That's this one. This will connect to your exhaust valve. Then you have quarter inch NPT uh, connection. That's these guys correction. These are your straight push to connect quarter inch. Next is the M5 push to connect. That's this little guy that will go to your piston. All these guys go to your solenoid. So this goes to your piston. And then the last one is Teflon tape. Here's your Teflon tape. And in the pneumatic video, we go over how to apply the Teflon tape to your pneumatic system. Also part of your servo is these guys, which attach, these are arms that will attach to your servo and you can use those for that. So you'll have all of that in your kit. You're gonna to wanna to go over this and make sure everything is in there. If you need anything, just come see us and we'll be happy to get you a replacement.